One of the most intriguing biblical stories has to be that of David and Goliath, this puny kid standing before a seven feet plus giant with a nasty temper. We all know how that went. The point is throughout history that David and Goliath story has become one of the most replicated story templates, both in real life and fiction. Think about 300 Spartans at the Battle of Thermopylae, or about the French Revolution, or to bring it closer to home even, think about the massive retail investors at deep fucking value and Wall Street bets who, to put it mildly, major hedge fund companies like Melvin Capital in all the unnameable holes. White Square Capital, a London-based hedge fund company, closed its main fund in January 2021. Now that is a classic David and Goliath story on our hands. And interestingly, nobody has died in this one. Here's a little backstory. Hedge funds are investment reservoirs for filthy rich people. In fact, one of the most important requirements to become a hedge fund investor is to be a millionaire. It is a way for those who can spare it to put dead money to good use. The risk to know when investing with a hedge fund is that you might lose a lot of money. The reason hedge fund companies can take these financial risks is that they are not regulated as other aspects of the financial market. What hedge fund companies do is that they bet on weak companies to fail. It's like going into a casino with your friends who used to work at the casino and knows the gambling addicts there, and instead of playing games, you bet on the bad gambling addicts to lose. Also, if you win, you will not be paying taxes from your money. You are all shit people making dirty money and trying to beat the system. But there is a catch. When it works out and the company fails, the hedge fund company and its millionaire investors make a shitload of money. But when the risk backfires and it doesn't work out, the hedge fund company and its millionaire investors are forced to shit a lot of money. The damage is usually so severe that it is enough to wipe the hedge fund out. Melvin Capital is amongst the biggest hedge fund companies around. The hedge fund company, amongst many others, had been betting on GameStop Corporation shares to fail in the whole of 2020. This would, of course, mean hundreds of employees would automatically lose their jobs at GameStop because Melvin Capital could vastly influence the market. The man pushing the buttons at Melvin is Gabriel Plotkin. His name sounds like one of those overambitious Russian villains from James Bond. When he founded Melvin Capital in 2014 with $900 million capital, the fund returned an annual average of 30% after fees until 2020. As of 2020, Plotkin had more than $1 billion invested in his fund. Before founding Melvin Capital, Plotkin worked at Steve Cohen's SAC Capital Advisors. He became a top moneymaker there and was one of the few portfolio managers at SAC to make money in 2008 when credit markets seized up. In 2013, SAC pleaded guilty to criminal insider trading charges and agreed to pay $1.2 billion in fines and stop managing outside money. Plotkin left SAC with his whole team several months later, and in 2014, his new company absorbed what was left of SAC. It looks like a bailout, but it was simply a transfer of wealth. And at Melvin, he was doing fine, building the company to the top. Then something incredible happened. In the last quarter of 2020, some random retail investors on Reddit began to buy GameStop stocks simultaneously, stocks that Plotkin's Melvin Capital had bet against. The hedge fund moguls were forced to buy back their short positions at a higher price. The retail investors got richer, while the hedge funds who tried to buy their way out of trouble got broke. It was some convoluted Robin Hood shit right there. Take from the rich to save the rich so the poor can get richer. Gabriel Plotkin's Melvin Capital lost $2.75 billion in one day alone. Another hedge fund lost $13 billion. By the end of January, Gabriel Plotkin had lost $6.8 billion. That's probably more gold than Mansa Musa dropped in Egypt. Melvin Capital also bought 4.6 million Facebook Class A shares, valued at $1.2 billion in the fourth quarter of 2020. And in January, the hedge fund's stocks went down by 33%. The rich at Melvin Capital were so desperate to recover losses that they went to the media and accused the middle-class retail investors of illegal market manipulation, what they were all doing by ganging up on GameStop. It was like taking a knife to a gunfight, beating your opponent who has the gun with a knife, 
But then with their dying breath and their gun pointed at you, they tell you, you are not allowed to have that knife. Gabriel Plotkin is still bleeding money, even though he is trying hard to save Melvin Capital. But what's done is done. Goliath and his frat boys are bleeding on the ground.